In today's mini lesson, we will be answering the essential question, what is the standard for good reading behaviors during readers workshop? Think about the fire department, a sports team, or NASA and SpaceX preparing for a rocket launch. Do these groups have to work together to be successful? Why? Pause the video to discuss your responses. During readers workshop, it is important that everyone works together in order to help everyone be successful in growing their reading skills and abilities. Work with a partner to brainstorm what someone would see in a class that is having a good reading workshop. Spend three minutes talking and then your teacher will record your responses on the chart paper to hang in our classroom once the partner groups have been sh have shared. Pause the video now to complete this activity. Some of the ones we came up with were keep my focus on my work, gather materials I need and find a place to sit, settle in and start reading silently, keep all reading materials together, talk quietly to a reading partner or in a book discussion group, and when reading independently, concentrate on my reading. The Daily Readers Workshop is a time for working, and students should refer to this chart and make sure they are following the correct procedures. We will keep this chart posted in the classroom and add to it periodically throughout the year. Let's re review slant before we begin our first book talk. Sit straight up and close to the speaker. Listen with your eyes, ears, body, and heart. Ask and answer questions, nod your head, and track the speaker. Pause the video to call on students to share what that looks like. Today's book talk selection is The One and Only Ivan by Katherine Applegate and illustrated by Patricia Costello. Ivan is an easygoing gorilla. Living at the Exit 8 Big Top Mall and Video Arcade, he has grown accustomed to humans watching him through the glass walls of his domain. He rarely misses his life in the jungle. In fact, he hardly ever thinks about it at all. Instead, Ivan thinks about TV shows he's seen and about his friends Stella, an elderly elephant, and Bob, a stray dog. But mostly, Ivan thinks about art and how to capture the taste of a mango or the sound of leaves with color and a well-placed line. Then he meets Ruby, a baby elephant taken from her family, and she makes Ivan see their home and his art through new eyes. When Ruby arrives, change comes with her, and it's up to Ivan to make it a change for the better. Catherine Applegate blends humor and poignancy to create Ivan's unforgettable first-person narration in a story of friendship, art, and hope. Students, you're going to have 20 minutes of independent, sustained reading time. After that, you will practice with your book club discussion groups and answer the following questions together to share about what book you're reading and something interesting that happened in your book while you were reading today.